You may know Mandy Moore from the popular TV series, This Is Us. Quite a change from how she first made her mark. She's in conversation this morning with our Luke Burbank. Mandy Moore's got an interesting career going. A lot of her fans still think of her as a teenager. Thanks to the 1990s pop music she made. And then she's got a whole other group of fans that think of her as a grandmother. But, you know, Kate has a lot on her plate with Jack. And Thanks to her role as Kevin Rebecca Green. Pearson on NBC's hit family drama, This Is Us. I think Silver Landing's 15. The actual Mandy Moore is somewhere very much in between. Not a kid anymore, but nowhere near retirement. In fact, she's doing more than ever. I'm 35, and I've been doing this since I was 15. 20 years of having a career, like all the successes, all of the failures, everything in between. Before the pop hits and the network TV roles, there was an eight-year-old Amanda Lee Moore growing up with big dreams in Orlando, Florida. The Orlando Sentinel used to have this audition hotline that every Friday I would call before school and I would sort of like write down with my pencil and paper what ones sounded appealing, what ones were looking for children my age. Were you your own agent at this point? I was point? my own agent, yes. And an effective one, it turns out, when she set her sights on her next big performance opportunity, singing the national anthem at Florida sporting events. I begged my parents to get me a little pitch pipe, and they <laughs> recorded me. And then my mom... So the story goes, hand-delivered this, like, you know, VHS cassette of me singing the national anthem with fresh-baked cookies. And I think that's what, like, solidified everything for me. I got the gig. All that performing in front of crowds started to get more some attention. Even record labels took notice. And before long, Mandy Moore was a certified teen pop star. with hits like Candy, which reached the Billboard charts, but even more impressively, had a two-month stint as one of the top music videos on MTV. You were obviously really successful with this stuff, but you weren't like Britney Spears successful. Yeah, was that kind exactly. of lucky? So lucky. I think about that often, because there wasn't that sort of expectation, like, you've had hits, you have to deliver more hits. But also it allowed me to branch off into the, you know, the acting world, into film and television. Mandy Moore is sitting right here. And she didn't just sing on MTV, she also started hosting shows. Stay tuned for more of the Top 40 TRL Superstar videos. Which in turn led to acting roles in films like Saved. I am filled with Christ's love. And the teen tearjerker, a walk to remember. You have to promise you won't fall in love with me. Was there a point where you started to think, oh, I'm actually an actor who sings? I think I became aware after a while of that that was probably the perception out in the world of me, and still probably to this day, which is fine. I have sort of leaned into the idea that it allows me to continue making the kind of music that I want to make because there isn't that same sort of expectation. As she outgrew her days as a teen idol, Moore started writing her own music and had released five solo records on various labels when she met and married the singer Ryan Adams. It was a romantic partnership Moore thought would spark even more musical creativity. But, she says, the opposite is what happened. I was at a point in my life where I was the most comfortable making myself the, the least priority. And I made myself as small as possible in order to make somebody else comfortable. In a New York Times story, Moore claimed her relationship with Adams was toxic. It really destroyed my relationship to music. It destroyed, ugh, now I'm gonna get emotional. It, dest it destroyed my sense of self. It destroyed my belief in who I was as a musician and as a singer. They divorced in 2016, and more shaken by the end of her marriage and lack of acting work, considered leaving Hollywood. I had done four failed TV pilots, so I was kind of at the point where I was like, maybe this acting thing is done for me. Really? I, yeah, yeah. Uh, this business has a way of beating you down. But she stuck it out. Once I removed myself from that and gave myself time to heal from it, 
and realize the strength and the power that I bring to any situation. I've been doing this now for so long. Once I dropped those bags, I realized the power that I had and I just haven't looked back. I don't care. Then came the role of a lifetime as the matriarch of the Pearson family. I think that you should be staying focused on your sobriety. The show, This Is Us, has wildly exceeded anyone's expectations. It's on its fourth season as one of television's most popular programs. And that's not the only good news for more. It turns out she's making music again, too, with her second husband, musician Taylor Goldsmith. What was your awareness of, like, the music of Mandy Moore before you guys... It was funny because, like, when we first started dating, I was like, maybe I should know more of this stuff. So I, like, Googled some of the older songs, and I was like, I doubt this is who she is anymore, which I, which turned out to be kind of true. This small show in L.A. was just a warm-up for Moore's first tour in 10 years starting later this month yeah, swing. to promote her new album, Silver Landings, a project she says was a lifetime in the making. This record is joyful, and it's a celebration, and it's about momentum forward. I'm so sick of looking in the rearview mirror. I did so much of that for too much of my life. And one more thing Mandy Moore's doing now, allowing herself to appreciate the teenage version of herself, the girl who started it all. I love that girl. That girl is, she's in me still. She's the reason I'm here talking to you. Like, I have so much affection and respect for her. Yeah, if this were a therapy session, we would say you're attending to yourself, which is really <laughs> very, positive. Very true, yes.